My Immortal, Chapter 23. And, Dut the fuck up, bitches, one! You're just jealous cause I got 10,000 reviews! One. Thanks to Raven for the help in telling me about the book's Gulu Rock. Let's go shopping together. The door opened and Professor Rumbridge and Cornelia Fudge stomped out angrily. Then Dumbledum and Rumbridge sawed us. Mr. Way, what the beep are you doing? Rumbridge shouted angrily. Dumbledore blared at her. Oops, she made a mistake, he corrupted her. She means hi, everybody. Come in. Well, we all came in angrily. So did all the other students. I sat be, be <laughs> I sat between Darkness and Draco and opposite Bloody Mary. Crab and Goyle started to make some morbid jokes. They both looked exactly like Villevolo. I ate some Count Chocula and drank some blood from a cup. Then I heard someone shooting angrily. I looked behind me. It was Vampire. He and Draco were shooting at each other. Vampire, Draco, WTF, I asked. You fucking bastard, yelled Draco at Vampire. I want to shit next to her, one. No, I do, shouted. No, she doesn't fucking like you, you son of a bitch. No, you motherfucker, she loves me, not you, shouted Vampire. And then he jumped on Draco. No, not in that... No, not in that way, you perv. They started to fight and beat up each other. Dumbledore yelled at them, but they didn't stop. All of a sudden, a terrible man with red eyes and no nose flew in on his broomstick. He had no nose. I think you already or you already said that. He had no nose and was wearing a gray robe. All the glass in the window he flew through fell apart. Brittany, that fucking prep, started to cry. Vampire and Draco stopped fighting. I shopped eating. Everyone gasped. The room fell silent. Volzimort! Ebbaby, Ebony, Darth Valor said evilly in his raspy voice. Thou have we fa failed your mission. Now I shall kill thou and I shall kill Vampire as well. If thou dost not kill him before then, I shall kill Draco too. Please, don't make me kill him, please. I begged. No, he laughed crudely. Kill him, or I shall kill him anyway. Then he flew away cackling. I bust into tears. Draco and Vampire came to contort me. Suddenly my eyes rolled up so they looked all cool and gothic. I had a vision where some where I, where I saw some lightning flash and then Voldemort coming to kill Draco while Draco slit his wrists in a depressed way. No. <sighs> I screamed sexily. Suddenly, I locked up and stopped having the vision. Ebony? Ebony? Are you all right? She asked, asked Draco in a worried voice. Yeah, yeah. I said sadly as I got up. Everything's all right, enemy, said Vampire, all sensitive. No, it's not, I shouted angrily. Tears of blood went down my face. OMFG, what if I'm getting possessed like in the ring too? It's okay, girl, said Bloody Mary. Maybe you should ask Professor Sinister about what the visions mean, though. Okay, bitch. I said sadly, and then we went. My Immortal, <laughs> Chapter 24. And, prep step flame of the story, you're just jealous, so fuck off, okay? F fuck you, okay? Go to hell, 1-1. One, one. Raven Fags... Fags for D help. Well, we had deviation next, so I got to ask Professor Trev Trevelry about the visions. Konnichiwa, everybody come in, said Professor Sinister in Japanese. She smelled at me with her gothic black lipstick. She's the coolest fucking teacher ever. She had long dead black hair with blood red tips and red eyes. Her mom was a vampire. She's also half Japanese, so she speaks it in everything. She and Bloody Murray get along great. 
She's really young for a teacher. Today she was wearing a black leather top with red lace and a long gothic black ripped dress. We went inside the black classroom with pastors of Emily the Strong. I raised my hand. I was wearing some black nail polish with red pentagrams on it. What is it, Ebony? She asked. Hey, I love your nail polish. Where'd you get it, Hot Topic? Yeah. I answered. All the preps who didn't know what HT was gave me weird looks. I gave them the middle finger. Well, I have to talk to you about some things. When you want to do it? Uh, huh. Oh, oh, okay, that was her talking. It was Ebony talking. Well, I have to talk to you about some th things. When do you want to do it? How about no? She asked. Okay, I said. Okay, class fucking dismissed everyone. Professor Trevory said, and she let everyone go. Except for you, Brittany. She pointed at Brittany and some other preps. Please do exorcise. Get it? One on page three. Uh, okay. I'm having lots of visions. I said in a worried voice. I'm so worried. Is Draco going to die? Well... She gave me a black crystal ball to lock in. I looked at it. What do you see? She asked. I said, I see a black gothic skull and a pentagram. Suddenly there was a knock at the door. I looked at it. It was Draco. He was looking really sexy wearing a black leather face and a black gothic Lincoln Park t-shirt and black Congress shoes. Okay, you can go now. See you, cunt. <laughs> said Professor Sinister. Bye, bitch, I said, waving. I went to Draco and Vampire was sitting next to him. We both followed Draco together and I was so ex I was so exhibited. All right, then. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please check out some of my other videos. There are also things. I'm going to go drink myself to death.